Do you guys remember when I first started investing in crypto, I said Ethereum was my first purchase, how I looked at it as my hedge, my Bitcoin in terms of safety net while giving me more multipliers. I made some moves in the past couple of months on uh, Casper. Well, consolidating into Casper for some of my crypto. And it's for the same reason. Casper, although it's a three, four billion market cap, definitely much smaller than Bitcoin and much smaller than Ethereum. Because of its superior fundamentals, fair launch, revolutionary new tech founder, amongst many other things, Casper is my Bitcoin. And for those who are not in my Discord, I recently consolidated Ethereum, you know, a couple months back in some other crypto for Casper. Casper, I believe, is going to net a lot more multipliers than Bitcoin and Ethereum. Especially this cycle, despite the uh, listings or lack thereof of tier ones. Casper, I think, is one of the best hedges at a three to four billion market cap while still giving us a lot of exposure for many gains. Casper, worst case scenario this cycle, could hit $1. Worst friggin' case. I still think two to five dollars in the cards. I still think tier ones will list it. I just think it'll be a little more time because, like I said in my last Casper video, Shay, Yonatan, they're not gonna do AMAs, they're not gonna say, hey Coinbase, hey Binance, here's a million dollars, please list us. So naturally it's gonna take longer than usual to list these cryptos because exchanges are companies and what do companies wanna do? Maximize profits. They don't wanna list a crypto for free unlike Uphold, which did list Casper for free, by the way, because there's no incentive, right? Even though you would think drawing in a ton of investors who want to buy the tier one would be incentive, but I'm not on the uh, board for these exchanges, so I really can't argue what their point of view is for listing or not listing Casper. All I know is Casper, while it remains at 13, 14, 50, 15 cents, is a awesome, buying opportunity and it's one I've been actively de into including today or I think it was yesterday. Caspa, I think if you want that safety net, which I know this is going to be controversial, but on the same level as Bitcoin and Ethereum while still giving more multipliers than Bitcoin and Ethereum, I think Caspa is the best one to accomplish the best of both worlds. It gives you a safety net of what a fair launch Bitcoin fundamentally crypto with the Yonatan behind it, a block DAG tech, no VCs dumping it, while also giving us more multipliers than Bitcoin and Ethereum combined. To me, that's a win-win, which is why I've been still de saying into Caspa, despite people losing uh, bullishness for it. A lot of people inherently, from what I've seen over the last three years, they always lose conviction in their crypto when it's in the red or when it's been dipping, consolidating, or there's, there's an uncertainty amongst the community. It happens time and time again. This is why smart money comes in and manipulates the market. They make you guys think your crypto is going to zero or they make you guys think that crypto is doomed and that something else is better, which is Bitcoin right now, right? And the minute you start having doubts, they come in they buy your crypto and it goes up like crazy. I've seen it happen time and time again. Even the most flooded, hated crypto, I have been holding and buying and seeing them rip. Our block is a most uh, popular one in my portfolio that has gotten so much hate because it took five years to reach an all time high. But I bought it at eight cents and it went to $2.40, baby. And now it's down to $1.50, which again, I don't care. It may bring some hate. Who cares? I look at the dip, I'm like, this is great. It's by the previous all-time high, and I know a rip is coming. Same deal for Caspa. It hit a 19 cent all-time high. They have over 80% circulating, less than 20% inflation. They're going to have 90% in circulation by 2025. What does that mean? Very little selling pressure. And there's no VCs, right? No private investors. Yonatan is not gonna dump on your head, most likely. So what does that mean? It means this suppression you're seeing in Caspa will not last too much longer. In fact, this is a time if you are bullish on it, if you do believe in it, if you're not 
you know, confident in your bag to maybe look at it again. Not financial advice, but all I'm saying is this. Cash flow will have its day, and right now the price may not reflect it in the short term. Zoom out to the one-year chart, and yes, it will naturally bring about a shocked face because cash flow, although it's ran a lot in the bear market, the run has not taken place yet for the bull market. And in my opinion, it is only a matter of time. By the way, if you want to reach out to me, talk to me, see crypto on buying, sell, and trading, be part of private live streams where I do Q&As or be in a position to take massive profits, become financially free amongst like-minded investors who also want to change their life. Then I encourage you to join Patreon and Discord. I'll leave a link in the paid comments down below. It would be awesome to see you there. But anyways, now I want to hear from you. Are you still buying the dips in Casper? And if so, where do you see its price this bull cycle? Drop your comment down below and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really helps so much. That being said, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.